In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down and describing the offlane role in Predecessor. This is to help you better understand the role and ultimately decide if this is the role for you. Hey guys, I'm Stinky Queso. After already putting in hundreds of hours into Predecessor and countless more into other MOBAs, I understand how confusing these games can be. And with almost no information online explaining how to play Predecessor or any of its roles, I'm here to help you not only become more knowledgeable of the game, but also help you figure out which of the five in-game roles best suit you. When you spawn into the game as the offlaner, you will always be heading towards the lane with the green buff. This is offlane. This lane houses the enemy offlaner and is very susceptible to ganks from the enemy jungler. You have a green buff and a little cove next to offlane, and orb prime is just inside of the jungle. There is one main buff that you should be focusing as the offlaner, the green buff. This buff will supply its killer with XP, gold, and both mana and health instantly. While it is an imperative to secure this buff, it will absolutely help you throughout the game, as well as let you farm longer in lane. Your main objective as the offlaner is to act as your team's counterbalance to ganking. What does this mean? It means your main priority is to have constant pressure on the enemy tower and offlane. This keeps their offlaner in check and forces them to stay in lane to protect their lane. But if they don't, and in turn decide to go gank your team, it is your time to strike. You have two options when this happens. You can either follow the enemy offlaner to go and assist your team against those possible ganks, but the second option I would recommend more. You will just continue to push up the lane and take the enemy towers. Now, you have to be extremely vigilant as this will almost certainly end in the enemy team ganking you, but in the case that happens, you are then relieving the pressure from your team. This will essentially be your job throughout the entirety of the game, pushing the enemy lane, waiting for the enemy to leave, and securing the towers. Now, as I said before, offlane is very prone to being ganked by the enemy jungler. This means your playstyle will have to be very passive aggressive, unless you know for certain where all the enemies are. The only time you should be pushing past the midpoint of the lane is when the enemy offlaner is completely gone or if you have someone there to support you. And here comes the best part of the offlane role. You can build anything on anyone. Because offlane has to be flexible and act as the team's counterbalance, you're essentially able to play whoever you want as long as you're able to sustain yourself in your lane. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend a Narbash offlane, but if you're thinking about trying Murdoch, go right ahead. Just know, as your picks of characters change, so will your playstyle. For pretty much every melee character, I would recommend a tank or a bruiser build. This will allow you to have high sustain against the enemy offlaner and potentially the jungler as well. For squishy characters such as carries or mages, I would just recommend the normal builds. Just know, you're most likely going to be by yourself all game, so play extremely carefully. But don't be worrying about builds just yet. Until you get a good grasp of the game, your role, its mechanics, and an overall feel of how everything works, just stick to using the recommended builds. These builds are well-rounded and, for the most part, should let you relax a little while you're still trying to learn the game and the role. If you feel like you've gotten to the point where you're tired of using these recommended builds and would like to try new builds, feel free to join my Discord in the description below where I've compiled a list of builds for you guys to use. Early game is the hardest and most detrimental part of the game for offlaner. Here, specific characters like Grux, Crunch, or Steel will be able to bully you into the ground. You will have to play to the best of your ability and stay cautious the entire time. You should not be overextending, trying to box, or trying to chase the enemy laner unless you have 100% confidence that you can secure the kill and get out. You just want to farm, poke the enemy to get them to back, and survive the best you can until mid-game. Mid-game and offlane is where, if you're a tank, you'll really start to feel their attacks bouncing off of you, and if you're a damage character, you'll start to see their health magically disappear. While this is a little self-explanatory, you have to understand that offlane will be higher level than most of the other lanes for a majority of the game. This allows you to act as the counterbalance and be able to fight against anyone who decides to gank you around the midpoint game. And going into late game, if you've been doing your job as offlaner, most of your towers should already be gone. This is the point of the game where you'll be able to really roam around the map for free and not have your lane severely punished. You should help your team push and take their towers if they haven't already done so, and if they have, just provide yourself to the team fights to give that extra leverage to your team. If you do all this, you are bound to win all of your games in offlane. And that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video or learned anything new and helpful, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and before you head out, Make sure to check out my channel for my other how to play videos to see if any of the other roles better suit you. Have a great day guys. Peace.